Welcome back friends, I am Christina Kay and I knew it was bad the last time I filmed this video, but it has gotten so much worse. My spirit jersey collection. I'm just gonna show the Disney ones today. Walt Disney World, Disneyland, just Disney, Star Wars. <laughs> I have a lot. Um, part of why I'm doing this video, one, it was very requested and I love my spirit jersey collection, is to hold myself accountable if there is a spirit jersey that has tags on it and by the end of the year, if I have not worn that spirit jersey, it's gotta go. So a good chunk of these, probably 80% of them, I have already worn and I love, but oh man, it's a lot. It's a lot. How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> Okay, I'm super out of breath because I've been <laughs> putting them all in piles, but I, I do want to say that I have a couple of fears when I do these collection videos, and I'm sure other content creators feel the same. One, I don't want it to seem like I am bragging about how much I have. Look at me. You guys requested this video and wanted to see it, um, so that's why I'm doing this. Please, I don't want anyone to feel bad about it. I just want to show you some of these spirit jerseys because they were really old or new, or I'm just really excited about them. I also don't want anyone to judge me by how much I have. Um, I, it's a lot. It's a, I'm kind of judging myself right now, but I'd rather judge myself than have you guys judge me. Um, and also, I was going somewhere else with this. Where was I going? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get into it. I'm, I'm very overwhelmed by all of this. We're going to start with the uh, Walt Disney World pile here. These are a workout. I didn't do arms this week, so here we go. So the first one is actually one I got back in December and I have worn this a bunch. It is one of my favorites. I pro probably wanna say it's in my top 10 and it's the red spirit jersey. I did not see it in February. It's really soft. It's kind of like the OG black one, how soft that was. This one is particularly soft. You've got the original white lettering, which I love when they do this lettering so much more than when they do the foil letters and that beautiful white. I love this because it could be holiday, it could be Valentine's Day, it could just be a beautiful color. I really love this one. I've gotten so many compliments on it. I have this one in a size small. That is my typical spirit jersey size, but I do have some of these in mediums as well because sometimes you just want them a little oversized, but this is hands down one of my favorites. I love this one. I'm hoping they bring it back. I'm hoping it's just like shipping. Oh, I need to wash it. I'm hoping it's just shipping why they didn't have it, but yeah, this one is a fave for sure. This next one, I'm not sure who got this one for me. I think I think I might know who it was. This is from a couple of years ago. It's this like navy blue, actually it's more like, I don't, not navy blue, it's like a light navy blue and it's got the white lettering. And this one's different because on the sleeves, it's got this like stripe and then it's got the typical Walt Disney World on the back. These are really cozy ones too. This is a big size. This is a medium, so it's definitely a nice weekend, like lounge around the house kind of spirit jersey. This is one of my first ones. It was a gift, and this is what kind of like spiraled me with this collection. And now that I think about it, I feel like that happens a lot with my collections. I swear I'm not gonna get into them, and then it takes one gift, and then I'm out of control. This is the original rose gold. So it's like a corally background and you've got the beautiful glittering letter. Oh, I just love it. And then the back has Walt Disney World. This is from the Make-A-Wish Dreams Come True Blue, what was it called? In 2020, October of 2020, this came out and the proceeds went to Make-A-Wish. It's a beautiful royal blue. I love this color blue. Wasn't crazy about the foiling on the lettering, but it was for a good cause, so I did get it. And it's not like some of the other glittery ones where it's rough, this one is soft. And then on the back, it has the silver foil letters. Kind of gives me Epcot vibes. Right after I filmed the Spirit Jersey collection video, last year I guess it was, for my birthday I got two new Spirit Jerseys and this is one of them. It's this hydrangea color, which I don't think I ever saw in the parks if I'm thinking about it. The, what I like about this is the color, but I, like it's very similar color for the lettering, so it could be a little harder to see, but I guess it's more subtle that way. And then it says Walt Disney World in that glitter. Beautiful. I, this is like my favorite kind of color. And this was the other one that I got, which I know they still have because my mom just got it. And it's the new rose gold one. I don't know if this, do we call this briar rose gold? Maybe, but it's a really soft one and it's like a faded kind of like heathered mauve color and then the rose gold and then you get where this is going on the back with the Walt Disney World. 
for people who don't understand spirit jerseys, like at first I was like, wow, a lot of people are wearing these. Why? They're comfortable. They're, they're very trendy. They're just like, they make you feel good no matter your body size too, I feel. And there's just like a color or a theme for everyone. Oh, I love this one. Beautiful memory attached to that. And actually, beautiful memories attached to just about all of these. This is the Potion Purple. I got this with um, my best friend, one of my best friends, Jackie, when I went down to Disney for my 30th and we got a bunch of Potion Purple stuff. Actually, this was the only Potion Purple thing that I got because the ears did not look good on me. Um, and it's a different kind of glitter. Actually, this glitter is more like pressed glitter on it. It's a little different, which it is easier to wash that way, I think. This one, my girl Betty from Betty Says picked up for me. When they released these, they flew out of there so fast. And my mom really wanted it. And I had Betty look for it for her for Christmas since it was 2020. And I couldn't make it down to the parks. And she got one for my mom and then also sent one for me as well because I really loved it. It's this heathered gray, which I feel like, come on, Disney, can we make more like this? I like it a lot. And it's got flit and this beautiful hot pink. I'm a huge Pocahontas fan, so I loved that they had this. So, so beautiful. I love that hot pink with the gray combo. I think this was called the Forest Friends. I think that's what it was called. And we've got Waltz. Oh my gosh. It's so it's just so beautiful. Disney. You got some rare characters in there. World. Miko. I love this one so much. Oh, this is a favorite too. A beautiful memory. What did they call this one? Lilac, maybe? I want to say it was lilac. And it stuck to my light. Okay. Beautiful. Another really soft one with that kind of same colored glitter. This is a back home one. I wear this one a lot back home because um, it's like subtle and just beautiful and spring is officially here. So it is definitely in the wardrobe rotation. And you know, the last time I filmed it, I had to wash it after there was like a stain on it. And I think I got it out. I had like a highlighter mark on it. I don't even know that I used highlighters. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. Do you guys ever get that a stain? You're like, I didn't eat this. I didn't use this. How did this happen? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Okay. This was the first one I bought myself because it's so classic and they have brought them back. Now I got this years ago. It's a classic. It's a favorite. It's the black Walt Disney World. I love it so much. I've washed this so many times and it's held up very well, inside out, do not put it in the dryer, wash on cold. I just love the black and white combo. So many ears go with it. It's cozy. Yeah, another one of my most worn. This one's a little different now. Actually, the rest of these Walt Disney Worlds are all different than those. This one is a very lightweight spirit jersey. It even said that on the tag when I got it. And it is Mickey in his little animal print shorts. How stinking cute. It is a lighter spirit jersey than the others. And it's for Disney's Animal Kingdom. I don't know that they made other park ones. At least I haven't seen them. I love that. Love, love, love. They had an Epcot one, flew out super quick. And then they have currently, they brought it back, the Harmonious one. It has the Epcot logo on the front, but then it's Harmonious on the back. And it's a little weird for me on the back. I have four 50th spirit jerseys. I thought I had two, I have four. <laughs> this one is the one I just recently got on my February Walt Disney World trip. I'll link that haul, massive, up in the eye and down below. I think this one might be my favorite though because I love this purple color and the glitter. Oh my gosh, that iridescent glitter on there, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like it because it's different on the front. It's not just that D that you see all the time, beautiful. I haven't worn this one yet because I just got it in February, but I just, I love it so much. And I think the glittering was different on all of them, if I remember correctly. Love it. Can't wait to wear it with the iridescent ears. This one was a Christmas gift. Haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet. Um, my parents got this for me. It's this cream color, but you can see like the gold glittering. I hope the camera is picking it up. It's the foil lettering, which I'm not crazy about again. And I'm not crazy about it being cream, but the back is where it's at. So you've got the foil that says Walt Disney World, and then you've got the 50th castle, which is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm not always the biggest fan of the prints being on the back because I feel like you can't see them if you're wearing a backpack. I can't see them when I wear them. Um, this is really soft, by the way. This is not that hard glitter, which I'll show you one that's in a hard glitter. 
These were back in February, so they do still have them, or they did still have them. This is one I never saw in the parks, but again, my girl Betty, oh, she's amazing, and she got this for me. I don't remember what collection this was, but it was the first one that was released August of last year. It's another soft glittery one that has all different color glitters. Oh my gosh, the iridescent ears are gonna be amazing with this. And we've got Mickey on the front, which I love, and then on the back, the world's most magical celebration and then we've got the ears with the 50 castle i have not worn this one yet i've been like waiting to film this video but i love 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 this oh my gosh it's so beautiful and i love this color blue i feel like the blues and the reds look good <laughs> And actually the color yellow is not too bad on me either. I just showed this in my last haul, so I'll link that video up in the eye and down below. Very long story, I explained on the video, but my coworker gave this to me. It is the park map one from the Vault Collection. I'm gonna stand up for this one because you've got, oh my gosh, it's like the busiest spirit jersey I own for sure. It's a park map, which I'm a sucker for. Well, like, I feel like this is definitely a parks spirit jersey. Like I said, some are back home, some are for the parks. This is a parks one. Now, I'm not a huge fan of it being on the sleeve, the Walt Disney World, but for this, I'll like, you know, I didn't buy this. So, um, oh no, the piles are falling. And then the print just continues on the back of the OG park map, which I am a sucker for the park maps. And I really, really do love on the front how this is what they have for the logo on the front with Mickey and Walt Disney World. That's really cool. Okay, this one's got a couple of flaws, but yet here I am owning it. I don't really like white a lot. I mean, I have a couple of white things that I really truly love, but white spirit jerseys are a little weird to me and I don't like how I said earlier when it says Walt on one sleeve and World on the other, but it had a Mickey waffle, so I'm obsessed with Mickey waffles. It negated all the flaws. So we've got the butter there. It is apparently scented. I have not smelt that on the spirit jersey. We've got all these beautiful Mickey waffles. Like, I feel like this would have been cute in black. Maybe a gray. Or like a cream color would have been better, but white, yeah. And then it's got the waffling letters for Walt. Disney and world i know they just came out with a pretzel one but yeah no mm -mm. mickey waffles where i uh where I draw the line this one is a crazy one as well but i fell in love with it i got it the closing weekend and i just wore it recently for an interview that i did because i do work in radio um an interview that i did with one of the stars of the cirque du soleil show drawn to life i felt like this was an appropriate uh, outfit choice it's the ink and paint line now every placement was different on this. I'm assuming with the, the vault one too, but I didn't get that one. So I had to look very hard to make sure no characters were being covered by that D. And what really did it for me was that Mr. Toad was on here, but also, let me get close again. You've got like light sketches in the background too of more characters we know and love. Sorcerer Mickey, the White Rabbit. I just, uh, Pinocchio is like my, me and my grandfather's thing. I really, really love this. And I liked the black lettering on it because I don't really think you've seen much with the black lettering. It continues on the sleeves and of course on the back. Let me see if I can find one of my favorites like sketched in the back here. We've got like the three caballeros. The attention to detail on the whole ink and paint line was just amazing. So, so, I mean, I could be here all day showing you, but there's like another character that I really want to show. You see there we have Br'er Fox, which that's going to be super vintage soon. And then the last Walt Disney World one I have, I was supposed to wear this for a bachelorette party and then the pandemic happened. So we never got a chance. We went, but we didn't go during spirit jersey season. So we did not wear these and it was a lot less of us, but all the bridesmaids had these um, colorful tie dye, which I do like the colors on it and the purple lettering. I've worn this one so much, I feel like so much, that it's been washed so many times you can kind of tell, but it's still cozy. It's not as soft as the other ones, but it is beautiful. Okay, I don't think I have as many Disneyland ones. I do love Disneyland, but I don't get to go there as much because I do live in New York. This is one of my most worn. I got this at the Disney Store outlet back 
when that was a thing near me and it was so cheap I think it was like $25 and it's like this, my best friend calls it a creamsicle, like a lifesaver. It's the beautiful rose gold. I think this is the Briar rose gold. So pretty. I just wore this the other day and again, got so many compliments because they definitely don't carry this anymore. And I love how Disneyland Resort looks in rose gold. So, so beautiful. I have another kind of similar one to that that I haven't worn yet because I was waiting to wear it in Disneyland, but I just haven't gotten there yet. Maybe, fingers crossed, coming soon. But the colors... Oh wait, I have worn it. <laughs> Never mind, I've worn it. Um, it is like this beautiful pink and purple and blue. Oh my god, these these are my colors. This is my aesthetic for sure. And it continues on the sleeves. Oh god, it's so beautiful. Disneyland. Yeah, I love this one so much. This is also another one of my first ones that I never saw in the parks in either of them, but I got it as a gift and I don't know if they got it in the park because I don't know if that person's ever been to Disneyland, but it's this beautiful like light blue, like a periwinkle blue with the white lettering for Disneyland, which this might be the only one I have that has like the white lettering like this, like the OG spirit jersey. You can tell how much I've worn this one because it's wrinkled. This one I've never worn. Um, this got sent to me on accident. During the pandemic, Shop Disney was making a lot of mistakes. They were kind of in overdrive and they sent me this on accident um, and then they let me keep it and then they sent what I was supposed to get. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing again because I just showed you in the Walt Disney World one, it's the Disneyland ink and paint. So obviously I didn't get to pick out the placement, but um, yeah, this is actually, I would think a really appropriate jersey to wear in Disneyland. So the tags are still on it because I'm saving it for my trip. Oh, this one's a memory. I was talking about the chunky glitter one. This one is not as comfortable, but it is such a beautiful memory. And I fortunately got so much makeup on it. I got this in Disneyland. I was with my sister and my friend Jackie and we wanted it so bad. And then they released it like two days early. I mean, we were planning on like waking up that morning so early to get to the parks to get them. We got them. It's the Arendelle Aqua, but you can even like hear it in the Jersey. It's not that comfortable. We've got the um, silver lettering. The ears that go with it are one of my favorite pairs of ears, I will say that. And then Disneyland Resort on the back. We were so happy to be there when it got released because we knew we wouldn't have got it otherwise. And I actually got quite a few pieces from the Arendelle Aqua collection that I just love. And actually my sister, like she wears this one a lot, which is surprising because this is totally not her thing, but I think it was the memory of it. So we were coming out of Goofy's Kitchen at the Disneyland Resort and it was just there in the gift shop and we freaked out. <laughs> so Arendelle Aqua. I always compare the glittery ones to this because they are definitely chunky glitter and like rough on your skin. This is hands down one of my most worn. I actually wore it yesterday. It's one of my most comfortable. It's just like that Walt Disney World one I showed before with the stripes. It's nice and oversized. I've like done chores in it. I've walked around in it. It's so soft and cozy. I love this one. Ooh, this I also got on that Disneyland trip with my friend Jackie. We saw this on Instagram. We didn't know how we were gonna feel about it. And then we got there and we fell in love with it. And this actually ran smaller than other jerseys. It's the, what pink did they call this? Oh boy, Mil not millennial pink. Imagination pink, that's what it was. And I love the pink and silver combo so much. Now this is different because it's got a stripe on the sleeve and the stripe's actually like soft. It's not like that chunky glitter. It looks really, really cute on and the back is gorgeous on this with Disneyland Resort. We have the ears to go with it. Actually, these silver ears were part of that collection, but I got them in cast connections for like $4, probably couple months later, I got this in um, September and this in December, but Walt Disney World and Disneyland. But yeah, actually this is the first time seeing it together. <laughs> May see this outfit in a video coming soon. <laughs> but this is one of my favorites and it's a beautiful memory. Okay, another beautiful memory. This one I was actually supposed to wear in Disneyland in 2020 and then it got canceled. So I'm saving it for when I can finally go in Disneyland. And I know it's a white one, but it's a really beautiful one. It's got the hot pink D. And then these balloons. Oh my gosh, I love them. I actually painted shoes to go with these. So beautiful. I love all the colors they picked for that. And I just love the hot pink. Big pink girl. 
but it's got the D on the one arm and the other D on the other, which is kind of weird to me, but it is what it is. And then the balloons continue on the back. And then the last Disneyland Spirit jersey is so special, and this will be hands down the first one I pack <laughs> for my Disneyland trip, even if I'm just there for the two days or three days. It's from the 65th. This is a soft glitter, beautiful colors. Like this is a true navy blue and they have the 65th logo there with the castle. I love it. Does anyone else find it ironic that for the 65th of Disneyland, they had like a white castle, Cinderella's castle, but for the 50th of Walt Disney World, it's pink like Aurora's, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> the back is so different. It says the happiest place on earth. And then that, look at that sparkle and the glitter. So beautiful. I wonder if this will go with the Disneyland ears that someone sent me on my haul. I still don't know if those look good on me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my final Disneyland one. Let's talk about Mousellaneous, which can be just a variety of things. The first one is one that I got in Disneyland. I think that same trip with my friend because she's a cast member and we got a nice discount. It's this gray. I love this. Make more spirit jerseys in this color. It's a Star Wars one and they have this gold. Isn't that beautiful? I think they've really did a great job with this one. And they've had quite a few Star Wars jerseys, but not enough that I was like, I need it. <laughs> and I love the back with the Star Wars. That's really nice. Now they have jerseys with this, like the stars all over it. I don't need it though. Oh, we've got some food and wine jerseys. Actually, this one goes really nice with my nails today. And I love the color. It's this mauvey pink color. This was for the 25th anniversary of Food and Wine. I love Food and Wine and Minnie in her chef's outfit looking so, so cute. And then the back is a big print. This is from 2020. It says Queen of Cuisine and Minnie's cooking. So cute. Now, what was awesome about this was that it was super discounted. Food and wine merchandise was like 40% off and then you get your 20% off for annual pass. So all the food and wine merch that year was super cheap and it's just so ironic because there was so much of it available. And now when you go for food and wine, it's like, wait, I can't even get a pin. So this was really special that I got this for food and wine. And then this was sent to me last year. Um, I'm debating about keeping it. I don't know. It's another cream one. It's the apple orchard, which I actually, in my food and wine video with my two friends and my sister, we tried and it was really, really fun to go there. That was our first stop. Um, the back, sweet as pie. I think maybe this year when I go to like the vineyards or the apple orchards, I'll wear this. If I don't, then we're gonna get rid of it. But I do, like I am a sucker for apple ciders and spike ciders and apple pies, like, oh yeah. So I don't know. Oh, and did I show you the gold detailing on the bottom here? I don't think I did. It's supposed to look like a basket that you would put like all the apples in. Beautiful gold. I don't know, I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see when the fall comes because it's definitely a fall jersey. Like I got brown boots that would go with it. Oh, the outfit's kind of cute in my head. Okay, this is one from the Disney store. I miss my Disney store. And I didn't know how often I would wear this, but I had like sneakers that I thought would be cute. I've worn this a lot actually, because it's a beautiful red and it's got the M for Mickey. And then Mickey on the back with three Mickeys, which is really cute. And only one of the sleeves has stripes, like the other one doesn't, which at first I thought was weird, but I don't know. I don't hate it. This is a good weekend one. It's a thick one. It's thicker than a lot of the other jerseys, but it looks really cute with black leggings. I have two Disney Vacation Club spirit jerseys. I am a DVC member. The first one Anthony got when he worked at the store, it was a return. And then I think, and I don't know if this was like the same, but when I worked at the Disney store, they would put stuff that was returned from like the parks or shop Disney on like a special wall and they would mark it down and then you get your discount on top of it if you work there. And I think that's what happened with this. I love this one. Mickey with the welcome home in the glasses. There is some glitter there, but it's an ombre effect. I'm gonna have to stand again. <laughs> so it's like a beige up top and then it goes to this beautiful pink. And then the back, oh my gosh. Look at the different glittery colors for Disney Vacation Club member. They've had a bunch of DVC ones that they've released. Um, 
Some of them are kind of weird, if I'm being honest, but this one is awesome. I mean, I've worn this one so much. This is this is wrinkled as well. They had um, a teal one for men that I was then able to find for him, so I was glad that I was able to get him one in return. This one is so old. Oh my gosh, I think it's like 2018 maybe I got. It's another DVC one. When they just changed over to that logo, I feel, it's navy blue with white, and then the sleeves have the um, lines and then the white here same on the sleeve and then it says Disney Vacation Club member and the bottom is white so it's navy blue and white I wear this one a bunch too I really do love this one this one's super soft and cozy I'm embarrassed to say that both of these I have not worn they are run Disney ones that is my goal to do a run Disney event it's just been kind of crazy because it was shut down for so long and now that they're back I of course can't make the days <laughs> but hopefully for 2023 this is a beautiful color which I didn't okay I'll be honest I didn't love the front of this one because it's got the castle and it says every mile is magic it's got 2020 if it didn't have 2020 I probably like it better the coloring is beautiful on this so it's like a plummy pink and then it does go down that ombre to white the back is where it's at I, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It says run, look at Chippendale. Big Chippendale fan, but not as big a fan of I am of Goofy. Look at him with the wings and the tutu. I, God, I love him. So it says run Disney on the back. Um, Mickey and Minnie in their coordinating outfits and Donald. Yeah, that's, that's the reason I got that one. And it still has a tag on it. Gotta wear it, Christina. This is a beautiful color, this one. Another Run Disney one for Star Wars Run Disney. And it's got Star Wars Run Disney on the front with R2-D2. I have ears that go perfectly with this. The back is a big print. It says, Run with the Force. And then we've got uh, Leia and Yoda. They had a quite a few of these. They had a black one that was Stormtroopers, Kylo, was that who was on it? No, Darth Maul was on that one. And then they had a third one, but I can't remember. Maybe it had Luke on it, but I love the droids, you guys. And I love that this was blue. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is embarrassing and never ending. How long have I been filming this for? Oh my gosh. This is what I was going to declutter and then I put it back in my collection and now I'm on the fence about it again. It is this Mickey. It's got like the stripes all over. So my best friend had given me a Minnie Mouse one of this too, but it looked so bad. It was like, I think it was a size large and it just, I could not wear it. So I ended up keeping this one, True Original, which I guess if I can remember where that haul is, I will link that up in the eye and down below. This was really cute. I wore this on Mickey's 90th. I did an event at work and then I really hadn't worn it since. So if I don't wear it by the end of the year, bye, bye, bye. This one I'm so excited to have because I regretted not getting it back in the day. It is the Haunted Mansion. Obviously, you can tell I haven't worn it because it still says glows in the dark. It's the Haunted Mansion one, Ghost Host. And then it's got the wallpaper pattern. I love this. I packed this on my the 50th trip, but I was wearing like all 50th stuff then. And it says the Haunted Mansion. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And I love the purple color so very much. It's hours later and I somehow forgot to show spirit jerseys. Uh, much earlier in this video, if you can remember from like 45 minutes ago, I said that I had some fears going into this. And one of those I have for every collection video, once it's done and uploaded and out for YouTube, I find stuff from the collection that I forgot. That happened to me last week with the Vera Bradley collection. And luckily while I was editing, cause this is like editing mode, okay? Um, I forgot about some spirit jerseys. One was actually hanging up behind me. It's this Walt Disney World. It's a very different, this is a thick spirit jersey and it's got this on the bottom. It is so soft with embossed Mickeys. This is perfect for being in New York. And one of my friends and his wife, when they went to Disney, she got it and then she didn't want it or it didn't fit, I don't remember. And they gave it to me, so that was cool. And then I have this one, which I love so much. This black Walt Disney Studios. Oh, this is a great one. This may be a little bit thicker too, not like that one, but it is a little thicker than some of the other spirit jerseys. And it says Walt 
Disney Studios. I actually got to go to the Walt Disney Studios on that Disneyland 2019 trip. So that is quite the haul. If you want to see some flashback merch warning, you probably can't get any of it anymore. But if you want to see it, I'll link that in the description box below. Okay, back to before. I did not show any of these holiday wands on my last Spirit Jersey collection because they were up in my attic and I didn't want to get them. Well, I made sure I went up there and I got them. We've got some Halloween ones and some, a lot of Christmas ones. <laughs> One is for Walt Disney World and it's just the plain black. This is from the 2020 collection. I got it on Shop Disney. Glittery, but like that, like pressed on glitter. So it's not gonna, you know, wear away as easily. I've worn this a bunch of times. And the back is really interesting because you have like a mixed media with the Walt Disney World. Like the orange, everywhere there's orange, it's fuzzy. Then you got some glitter. Very Halloween-y. This line was like really not available when I went in October of 2020, but it was on Shop Disney and it was during a sale. This one is my favorite though of the two. I got this again in 2019 in Disneyland. Guys, I spent so much money that trip, <laughs> but I loved it and it's very cozy glitter. It's that Mickey pumpkin. Yeah, this is my favorite Halloween one and I always wear this. I have the ears to match the candy corn ears. So cozy. I did get it a little bit big because that's all I could find, but it actually works and it just says Disney. Like that is so beautiful. So beautiful. And most of the time, like pre pandemic, we would go to Disneyland like around Halloween time. So it was, you know, fitting, but I haven't been since. Okay, let's talk about Christmas ones. Um, this is probably my most worn Christmas one. It's, I've had it for so long. It's this black plaid holiday plaid mickey i actually wore this when i met and interviewed 98 degrees and they thought it was the coolest thing my sister and i matched they really loved it and i love this too we get so many compliments on it to this day and this was funny because my friend jackie is obsessed with spirit jerseys and she's like hey if you see it can you get it and it was like impossible to find and then we were going through the emporium and a cast member found a box of them and put them out and it was like feeding time at the zoo like everyone was getting them but my mom was in a wheelchair that trip so she like got right up to the front and she got one in like every size so we all have this i think this might be my favorite holiday one um it's a beautiful memory and it's just so me it's blue it's Festival of the Holidays from 2019, but it's Chip and Dale. I love this one. I wore this in December and there was a cast member at Contempo Cafe and he's like, I'm sorry, when did you get that? And I was like, two years ago, sorry. Look at the back, nuts about the holidays. My friend Brittany actually made ears to go with this. So when I do my ear collection video, you will see them. Okay, this one I got in 2020 at my Disney store. I actually ordered it online and I didn't like the placement and someone returned it at the Disney store. So I exchanged it and it's red with green glittery um, font and it's got an ornament there. This line, they crushed. Like this, oh gosh, they crushed it so much. We've got Goofy and all the parks icons. I did not get a chance to wear this this year because it was so hot in Walt Disney World when I went. The back, Walt Disney World. But just look at the, I mean, the toy soldiers from the parade. Oh my gosh, I love this so very much. And it continues on the sleeve. I mean, everything from like the Tiki Room to the Jungle Cruise, this whole collection that they did, they just nailed. And of course that was the year I was not there for. <laughs> it was 2020, but I can't wait to wear it. This is one of my most worn for the holidays too. I wear it a lot back home. And that is this red food one. My friend Nathaniel sent this to me for Christmas and I'm so glad he did because I did not see it when I went in December. And it's got so many Disney snacks on it, including the Mickey waffle. So I really guess I didn't need that Mickey waffle spirit jersey, but here we are. <laughs> and the back. I mean, this is one of my most complimented, is glittery like frosting and sprinkles. Two more holiday ones. This is from this year's collection, the Walt Holiday Lodge. And I didn't wear it because I got one for my sister and I didn't want her to see it on because then she'd be like, um, this is a thing, I need it. So it's a cream color, Mickey and his little puffer jacket, so cute. But look at these beautiful vignettes. Minnie and Mickey caroling, and Chippendale snowboarding, Goofy in his puffer jacket on the sleds, the ice skating, Goofy tangled up in lights. <laughs> 
And then it says Walt Disney World in this beautiful icy font. And then that continues on the back and on the sleeves too. So stinking cute. This one I got from the Disney store in 2019? 2020? I don't even remember. Red with this, this is like a velvet. And then all these Mickeys and snowflakes, all the white is like a brushed velvet. And the back is very generic. It just says Merry and Bright. I don't know if they have these in the parks too, but this was like the Disney store spirit jersey and I actually really love it. Okay, let's, oh, they're falling everywhere. <laughs> Let's talk about small shop spirit jerseys. These first two, I guess, like they're spirit jerseys, but they're spirit jerseys. Um, the first one, actually the first two are from Ignite the Magic. I'll link their shop info down below. They're very light and they're very soft. And what does it say? It's, begin it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. I love how old timey Christmas this feels. Now, unlike the other spirit jerseys, it doesn't have anything on the back, just the glitter. And it is a soft glitter. J America is the brand they used. And then this one is so fun from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Nothing can stop us now. A song that is stuck in all of our heads. The only pet peeve I have with that is that they made Mickey and Minnie and Goofy look one way, but then like Daisy and Donald and Pluto are another weird. Also, shout out to Chuby. Love that bird. I miss the great movie ride, but I do enjoy going on this attraction. It's not my favorite, but I enjoy it. These were from Magic Moment Co., who has now changed her shop name. What is it now? Oh, I don't remember. If I can remember, I'll link it down below. I was talking about the Epcot spirit jersey. Well, she actually made me one in the same exact style spirit jersey of that. We've got a brushed velvet, um, Epcot logo and on the back it says Epcot Center. So this is all like a brushed velvet. And then she also made this one that I'm definitely taking to Disneyland. It's pink, again brushed velvet for all of this, and it's an autograph book style. So we've got like so many of my favorite characters, Belle and Jasmine, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto. And then on the back it says Disneyland autograph book. And then we've got Snow White and Peter Pan. Does that say Rapunzel? I can't see. Buzz Lightyear and Alice. So cool. And then I don't know if these count in my spirit jersey collection. The first one is a spirit jersey brand. It's like a pajama top. It's so soft. And it says Paris on the front with a little Remy. I have a Paris obsession, guys, like big time. And then the back says up, up and away from up. And it's really, really soft. And then these t-shirts were a big thing. I don't think they still have them anymore, but they're like a spirit jersey style. They're really soft. I have this hot pink and black combo. Now they don't have the Walt Disney World in the back. They have it on the sleeve, which I like. I thought that was really cool. And then I have a black one that my friend Bernie, who lives in California, sent me for Disneyland, black and white, because I don't have the black spirit jersey. Well, I don't know about you, but I am exhausted. <laughs> that was a lot, and I have a huge mess to clean up now and kind of sort through these and see if any of them realistically I am not going to wear. I do have a one or two or three non-Disney spirit jerseys as well. Like I have a Gilmore Girls one and Giants, uh, New York Giants, but I wasn't going to show that on this video because I already showed way too much. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite spirit jersey is or that you own. Do you have a spirit jersey that you can't believe I don't have? Because there's probably a lot, even though I feel like I own a good chunk of what they've made <laughs> over the years. But this is my collection. So many amazing memories attached to these. And I just pinch myself that I have this many. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. More collection videos on the way. If you haven't subscribed yet, I have a little icon in the corner of my videos now. I don't know which way it is, but it's in one of the corners. You can click that and you can subscribe so easily. Also give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys really soon. Say hi on Instagram. I love chatting with you guys over there and I hope you're doing well. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day. Wish me luck cleaning up too. <laughs>